They're pushing us right. I've knocked another one. Thank you. I'll find it out one day. What aimbo are you using? Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so you've probably seen a lot of people do this type of flick shotting on streams, right? And that's really good. And you should always do this as well. But that's not everything and every possible way how to get your aim better. And that's literally the thing that this video will be about. I will be discussing how can you improve your aim in Apex Legends, how to get better at aiming in, in, in general, and what more you can do to win more games. So basically we should just start without any further ado and I wanted to thank you and I appreciate that you guys are watching the videos and stuff like that. So yeah, if you enjoy the content I do, I do a lot of tutorials and I'm basically the only person on YouTube who does that, then hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it and it helped me a, a lot. Uh, it will actually make me able to keep doing these types of videos for you guys. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe down below. Thank you. So yeah, you've seen me flick shotting the dummies, right? So what exactly it means, the word flick shot? Flick shot means that you aim at one place and then flick to a second place and fire, which means you just move right and, and back. Okay, so you, you're just going back and forth with your cursor and trying to aim towards the location you let's just say you've set up the first time okay you don't only have to use the wingman you can also use sniper rifle let me just show you and the most important part is the every weapon has a different fire rate right which means that you can fire like this that's totally okay but if you will do it like too quickly, it will look like this. Okay, you hit once and then I didn't shoot the, fir the shot. Okay, I wasn't able to shoot because the fire rate isn't like fast enough to, let's just say, to react to my clicks. So that's the really important thing to think about. And before you actually try to flick shot with every weapon, try to see like what is the fire rate. So. For example, aim here and just try to spam your left mouse button just to see like how fast it actually shoots. So you've seen that it's very slow, right? So you gotta aim real fast, but you're gonna have to like flick shot once and then just wait a second and just flick shot again. Okay, that's pretty much what you wanna do with snipers, uh, with longbow to be exact. Okay, when you think that you're able to hit your flex shots pretty, let's just say, pretty accurately, then you should move to a different thing. If you're ever playing snipers, learn quick scoping. Okay, quick scoping means that you basically aim towards the direction you want to aim and aim with the, with the little dot in the middle of your screen on the target you want to kill and then just quick ADS with your right mouse button and fire whenever you think you're ready to fire an accurate shot and what's important with this thing is the aiming like this if you don't have a scope aiming without ADSing is way easier right because you you can have a way better look and you can see your opponents way more clearly and then when you just aim aim lock to the head, you just press right button, ADS and shoot. Okay, and it's 100% accurate, you can never miss the shot. And it's basically a really important thing to realize. Okay, so this is all about flick shotting, you need to know. I don't really want to make it like 20 minutes video, so I'm gonna move. And next thing is spray control. Every weapon has a different has a different recoil. Okay, so with let's just say with R301, 
your spray control looks like this. So the spray pattern goes up here, then goes a little bit right and a little bit left, okay? Just watch it again. You basically see that it went up, 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 then a little bit right and then left again. And that's literally the thing you need to know, because if you know what way it goes, then you know what, like, you need to do, like, literally the opposite way. So you want to go, like, left side, down here, and then a little bit right, right? So you want to go like this and this. And you're going to keep it almost on the same place. Just aim towards the middle, right here. And just try to hold the cursor right in the middle of the target. And as you could have seen, is quite accurate. But when you move to another weapon, and that's the thing why you need to learn to spray control with all weapons, or at least every weapon you use, is this thing. Look how the spray pattern of R99 looks like. Did you see how, how far it actually gone? So the spray pattern looked like this. It went up here, up here, and it up like here. Just watch it again. You see how further it went compared to our 301. Let me just show you once again. Okay, it literally just went like only half of the distance R99 did. Okay, and that's really important to realize and practice aim control. Let's just say spray controlling with every weapon. So what you want to do is just grab a weapon you wish, any kind of these weapons, just aim towards the middle and just try to hold the cursor in it. Just take the second different weapon and try to do the same thing again, all over again, before you feel comfortable spraying. Just aim towards another one. You see like all these dummies are like different range. This one is even further. But even then it's, let's just say it's possible to control the spray. And that's what you should, you should focus on. So that's the thing. And the second thing, when you think you, you have practiced the spray parents, you should practice spraying on longer range. So this right here is like 40-ish meters. This right here is like 50. So you want to see how much damage it does. So the weapon does 252 damage, right? When you hit every shot. And then you want to go to this dummy, which is like 110 meters. And you want to try to spray control on that law, on that range, okay? And when you learn spray controlling like from that far, it will help you a tremendously in fighting opponents. Because if you will hit like every single shot or just let, or I don't know, like, let's just say 95% of your shots, you're going to win the fight. But there is even a better way to make sure you hit every single show and there is single fire rate. So what you can do is that you can go for a hemlock, for example, and set it on single, single fire. And I have a R301 single fire and hemlock, right? So if the target will be like this far, and I will know that the target is low, I don't need to spray for like 215 like in a second or so. I'm just going to go for single fire, right? Because you never miss a single shot. There is legit no way you can miss a shot with single fire. Okay? And that's gonna help you tremendously while fighting if you realize this thing. Okay? So, keep that in mind. After you learn how to how to spray control with the weapon you're using the most, go for one-tap weapons. Okay, you have seen a lot of people just going for these types of weapons and just destroying everyone. What was that? These are like freaking rainbow chill cells. I thought he was pink. <laughs> <laughs> The next nice. weapon you want to grab is any kind of shotgun. It really doesn't matter like which shotgun it is. You only... Oh, wait a sec, let me just get, get, get some arm. I mean ammunition. And the thing you want to do 
is practice your aim while I know like turning okay so I just say you want to kill people on the right side okay so you're gonna be going like this only just jump aim or you can for example slide aim towards the target slide jump aim towards it and all the good stuff like all over again okay just to make sure you aim correctly okay don't spray with the weapon like this is this is shotgun okay every hit counts it's not r301 where you can miss a shot if you miss a shot with peacekeeper you're dead okay you can miss a single shot while, while fighting with peacekeeper okay so that's the thing you can do with shotguns second thing you can also do well, with the guns that you need to actually you can actually spray with is the okay let me just go a little bit yeah let oh, me just what you want to do here is the you want to run behind it and just slide and try to hit it while in the slide right because what that's gonna do is the you always see like streamers going kill one person try to hide reload go for it and kill the last if you person. can see if you'll be healing right here and you'll be taking i don't know like using medkit or some shit then you'll definitely won't expect someone to do this right like if someone just legit legit just slid right here and try to spray it down you'd be dead and that's the thing why they do it because you won't have enough time to react in time okay and that's the thing you should focus on so i think that was it i think i have covered basically everything you need to practice from beginning so i must thank you all for watching but before you go i would like to inform you that i'm going to be making guides for every type type of weapon okay so i'm going to start with light round weapons then i'm going to move to heavy and lastly i'm going to make a guide about how to practice aiming with energy weapons and shotguns because there is a lot of stuff you need to know and I'll just give you a sneak peek. So, have you ever thought about how accurate the shotgun is when you actually ADS or when you don't ADS? So just watch this. Basically, okay. damage should split like all over the cursor, right? So I have done 150 damage, 150 damage, and when I ADS, I do the same damage. Let's try it with just a half of the cursor right there, okay? So just a half of the cursor. And I have done 60 damage to this target. 60, 60, and it's never gonna change, okay? And look what it does when I ADS. So Six. definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, right now I'm just going to peace out. Thank you all for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, if you get better at the game or at any kind of game, just let me know in the comments down below, like, which game would you like me to make guides on? Because right now I'm making guides for Apex Legends and I'm also making fun content, like playing with randoms and just hanging out with them and just chilling, you know? So definitely stay tuned for that. Subscribe because I'm the, legit the only YouTuber who does this type of stuff and it would help me tremendously getting my videos more visible to lar larger amount of people just so you guys can see what I do and have fun time with me. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I, I don't think I can thank you enough for it. So yeah, just peace out.